Yo, what's going on? In today's video, I got the how to make a basic dash system. This is the updated version of the, the strongest battlegrounds dash system stuff. So pretty much, I just took the code from that video. Um, I shortened it by a great deal. Um, gave it some new animations. I mean, that doesn't really apply to y'all. It's just honestly because it looks better. Because some people said the animation didn't they didn't really like them. I mean, not like it really matters because you're using your own animations, but whatever. So yeah, pretty much just shortened the code and stuff made it uh, more simpler. And stuff. I was trying to get rid of the part portion like where you have to create a part and all that, but I couldn't. So we're stuck with the part. But anyway, let's go ahead and get straight into it. So thank you guys for all the love and support on the um the strongest or no how to make a battlegrounds game part one to five y'all blew that video up it's been like 24 hours the video got like almost 900 views now y'all been going crazy on that thank you for all the love and support i'm showing i really do appreciate it shout out to all my discord subscribers i got like four new ones today y'all are killing it and i really do appreciate it let's go ahead and get straight into the video okay so first things first right let's go ahead and insert a remote event into replicated storage we're going to want to rename this remote event to dash event right then i'm going to want to um what's the name open up starter player and then insert a local script into starter player scripts before i continue though i have a sound in sound in the sound service it's called dash literally go to the toolbox go to audio and then just search up dash and you'll find the sound instead of it's just like a little it's kind of like a i believe it's like a wind sound or something like that so like it's just like the wind or something like let me show so this is going to play every time you know we use dash so you, you can get it some but this is optional though you don't have to do that so yeah then we rename this local script to dash script in parentheses put local we're going to delete print hello world right and then we're going to create some variables first things first let's create a variable for the user input service i'm going to say local uis is equal to game get service user input service right then i'm going to create a variable for the dash mode event i'm going to say local dash event is equal to game that replicated storage wait for child dash event then I'm going to create a variable for uh, can dash. So I'm going to say local can dash is equal to false. Pretty much what this uh, means, you know, I mean, it's pretty self explanatory, but this is so that we uh, know if the player is able to dash or not and stuff. So by default, it would be set to false. Then whenever they, uh, what's it called? Whenever they press down one of the, uh, you know, movement keys, W, A, S, or D and stuff, then it'll be set to true and stuff because it's like, okay, they have a direction. Now we're just waiting for them to press Q. So then, you know, they can initiate the dash in said direction. And then, of course, speaking of which, we are going to create a variable for the dash direction. So local dash direction is going to be equal to just uh, blank and stuff, just quotation marks and stuff. Uh, this is going to be set to one of four things. W, A, S, or D, obviously based on whatever key they press and stuff, so that we know which direction the player is supposed to, uh, you know, dash towards. So then I'm going to set up the function. I'm going to say UIS.inputBegan, connect function, right? In parentheses, you're going to put input, comma, processed. Into, you're then going to say if input, right? And then you're going to say dot user input type is equal to mm dot user input type dot keyboard and not process, which pretty much means the player is not typing a chat, then enter. Right, you're gonna say if input dot key code is equal to num dot key code w, and then we're just gonna do this. So type the word or, and then you're gonna copy and paste this. Right. So control C, control V, control V, control V. Those three times, then press enter. Right, and then you're, of course you're gonna change this. So you want this to be all of the movement keys. So W stick to this order by the way, like the W A S D. Just stick to that order. So W A S N D. Right, and then obviously delete this last or. Then we're gonna go. Then we're gonna go here, and then we're going to um, uh, what's it called? Then we're going to set can dash to true because the players are not able to dash. And then we're also gonna set the dash direction. So dash direction is equal to input uh, key code dot name. So we know what direction that the player is supposed to dash into. Then we're gonna set up another statement. I'm gonna say if wait, I feel like wait, am I doing this right? Mm, I don't, I, I feel like I'm not doing this second. I feel like I think this is yeah, I think this is how I did it. I believe this is how I did it. But then I feel like at the same time. Mm, wait, no, 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 no. This is not okay, okay. So we're gonna go after this. Sorry, we're gonna go after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna go after this. So I'm gonna say if input right the key code is equal to enum the key code is equal to or sorry, key code dot q, right? And stuff this is you know obviously uh your dash key bind but if you want to if you want to have a different key bind then you can obviously set it to whatever you want but uh, you know most games it's use the q right and then you're going to set can dash or sorry we're going to check to make sure can dash is equal to true so that we, we can confirm that the player wants to uh, or is able to dash i should say 
And lastly, that dash direction is nil equal to blank quotation marks. This is to ensure that like the player has a dash direction. Like it is either set to W, A, S, or D and stuff. Cause I was experiencing an er error sometimes where like if I held down two keys and stuff and I tried to go it, it would let me, but sometimes it would give me like this error. So this is just preventing uh, giving you an error and stuff if like there is no correct uh, dash direction and stuff, right? Which pretty much means the player might be holding down keys or letting them go too quickly, whatever. So, yeah. So press enter, right? And then you're going to say dash event, you're going to fire their mode event, fire their mode event. So fire server and quotation marks and then the event will be dash, right? And then comma. And then of course you're going to send over the dash direction. And then you're going to set can dash equal to false. It's going to be our uh, cooldown thing. So can dash equal to false. Then task dot wait one second. And then you're going to say can dash is equal to true. I feel like I should have did this on the server side. It would have been kind of easier and stuff. I just feel like having like a, like a status thing, it would have been easier, but I don't know. Anyway, we're going to go to the next function. So I'm going to say UIS that UIS input began, right? And then you're actually going to do the same thing. So, you know, connect function in parentheses, input, comma, process and stuff. Oh, sorry. I, I did this wrong. Not input began. Input ended, right? And then inside of the function, you're going to do the, you know, if input that user input type is equal to enum that user input type dot keyboard and not processed you guys already know the drill right and not processed then you're going to say if input that key code is equal to enum dot key code dot q because you know this is for dashing and then you're going to say can dash equal to false right and then dash direction is equal to uh like nothing right and so this is pretty much when a player releases the q key so it's like they're not they're uh what's it called like they've dashed so now we're resetting the their direction and stuff right and stuff and then once they you know press it again then we'll set it back to true so It'll be set back to true. So now we can move to the server side. But that was really like the, I feel like that was the worst of it, but the server side is like, it's a little bit stuff, not too much, honestly. It's like 40 lines, I think. But anyway, let's go ahead and move to it. Okay, so if we open up server script service, right, we insert a server script. We're gonna wanna rename that script to dash script in parentheses. We're gonna put to server. You guys see I have four animations. Simply click the plus icon on the script. In, uh, press animation you're going to want to throw your animation id in there you have to use your own by the way you can't use mine um and then you want to name them naming is very important name them name them the exact same things as i have named them name them the exact same way i've named them and stuff right and the reason for that is because i have a system where it's going to be it's going to fire it's going to know the uh the name of the animation and stuff based off of the direction like it's going to say letter then dash animation so like you guys see how we're sending over the dash direction and it's either going to be a d s or w so yeah so it'll make more sense when i get to the actual part of the script but yeah so let's get this uh let's get two services then our remote event so first things first let's get the sound service so local ss is equal to game get service sound service then let's get the debris service so local ds is equal to game get service debris you know i'm really starting to think it's not even a service since it doesn't have the word service in it but i've just been calling it that for months but anyway um i'm then going to get the dash remote event so we can just head to the uh, server script and then just copy and paste control c control v then we're going to say dash event on server events connect function and parentheses you're going to put plr which is for the player comma event type comma arg watcher for argument number one then enter then going to create a variable for the player's character local character is equal to player dot character then set up an if statement so if event type is equal to quotation marks dash that'll be the name of the event then let's create a variable for argument number one so local dash or like set or we're going to create a variable for the dash direction by setting its value equal to argument number one i should say dash direction is equal to arg one right and then i'm going to create the attachment and you know the, the linear velocity here's that we're going to like actually you know push the player or move them i should say so local attachment is equal to instance that new in quotation marks of course you're going to put attachment parent this to the characters humanoid root part right then you're going to create the linear velocity linear velocity and then i'm going to say is equal to instance that new linear velocity parent this to the attachment and then we're going to clone over a part. So you can put this part inside service storage. So simply literally just insert a part. You don't have to size it anything. Just insert a regular part. Set its transparency equal to one. Make sure it's anchored and that can't glide is turned off. And that's literally it. Just put it in and throw it inside a service storage. And then you're literally good. That's all you got to do. So then we're going to say we're going to create a variable. So part is equal to game that service storage dot part. 
you're going to clone it and then you're going to say part that parent is equal to workspace then you're going to create a variable for um the mul multiplier so we're going to say multiplier right and then you're not going to set its value though we're going to set that uh via this if statement i'm about to create so we're going to set up a string uh, like a long line of if statements so first thing first i'm going to say if dash direction is equal to w which means they're trying to go uh forward and stuff they're trying to go forward you're going to say multiplier multiplier wait is that how you spell it i hope that's how you spell it is equal to c frame dot new negative one comma negative one comma negative 20 because you know that's how you know you go forward then you can throw in else then we can copy and paste control c control v then you can copy and paste that control c control v and control v then of course you're just going to change this so w then a so for a you know we're moving to the left so for this we want uh this right here to be negative 20 and then we can set this back to negative one right then for this one of course we're you know s so that means we're moving backwards so all you're going to do is just delete the negative sign here and then for the last one, you know, D, which means we're going to the right. So you're just going to do the opposite of what we did for A. So positive 20. And then we want this to be set to negative 1, right? And then once we're done with that, we can move on. We're finished with that uh, statement. Then I'm going to set the animation track. So I'm going to say local AT is equal to character dot humanoid dot animator load animation in parentheses you're going to say script or sorry you're going to say script regular bracket you're going to say for the dash direction variable just what i was talking about that the dot quotation marks dash animation this is why i said it's important to name them correctly because it's going to be the letter you know for the direction you're trying to dash in and then followed by the two words dash animation right and then okay i'm good <laughs> so from there we're going to play the animation and then we're also going to play the sound so then i'm going to say ss dot dash play right and then i'm going to finalize the stuff so i'm going to say part dot c frame is equal to character dot humanoid root part dot c frame and then we're going to multiply it times the multiplier as you can see it's clearly based on whatever direction we're going in stuff as they're all different right so then you're going to set you're going to set linear velocity dot max four is equal to five nine so one two three four five and then you're going to say linear velocity dot vector velocity is equal to in parentheses you're going to say part dot position minus character dot humanoid root part dot position go on the outside and then you're going to say dot unit times vector three dot new in parentheses put 100 comma zero i'm 100 right and then you're going to say linear velocity dot attachment zero is equal to attachment right and then for the last thing you're simply going to say debris service add item you're going to say attachment or sorry attachment comma 0 0.1 and then boom just like that <clears throat> we are done let's go ahead and test to make sure this works as always if you guys want access to any one of my scripts or models you guys can come be their channel member or your discord subscriber link to either one of those options can be found in the description highly recommend them but yeah let's go ahead and test to make sure this works okay so if i um you can use the spawn point for reference for you know which direction you're going in. so if i press q boom i go forward you guys hear the sound then you know to the right to the left backward my animations are playing everything these are the new animations i got i feel like they were better and stuff so boom left forward right back left or right back so yeah there we go um if you guys enjoyed this video definitely leave like subscribe if you're new and stuff um i plan to do a uh what's, i actually plan to use this exact same code and just modify it a little bit to um make a uh what, what is that called again i forgot um the you know the thing with like an like anime characters they move really fast and then like they leave those little blurred lines um i forgot okay anyway then make a video using this code soon that's the point right so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did leave like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you guys for watching